And I'm appearing online. I'm appearing online. Give it just a minute. Oh, there we go. I got the invite from Mr. Fungi. Oh. So if I can request to watch. I just sent her. Share your gameplay with another player or broadcast to many people? Both of them say share your gameplay. Do I broadcast to many people or share with only one player? Cannot use this feature while broadcasting. It's not going to let me. I I already did. You have your settings where it lets you. Okay, then I don't know. Maybe go watch. Uh, I don't know what to say. Alrighty, people are joining. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Pepsi, Pepsi, the dude with attitude. So crack a 40 and check your roys. I hope everyone is having a peptastic day. And we're getting to part two of our qualification tournament for Rainbow Six Siege. Joining me will be on commentating. Everyone's favorite uh, little Carlos. Mexican, I, Carlos. I, Carlos. Yeah. And I'm sorry about the echo. Um... And uh, also, a guy who already had his qualifying match but lost, but he still has two more chances, Taco. The people trying to I'm qualify in enough. this part, yeah, the people trying to qual qualify in this part is one of the best Rainbow Six players I've ever seen, second best only to that one known as Owen, is Big Piggy Daddy, also known as Wyatt, an original dude with attitude, and Mr. Fun Guy. Check him out on YouTube. You'll be able to find him, and Taco joined. Cool. Let me see if I can invite you, Carlos. I don't know how this is going to work. But yeah, uh, so what this is for any of y'all that are just joining the stream and didn't watch the other one, if uh, you followed and subscribed and dropped your gamer tag, you will be eligible to qualify. And Who's that going? It's Carlos again. Uh, you'll be eligible for qualification. Uh, for the tournament in January, where if you win the whole tournament, you will be able to um, win fifty dollars. But right now you got to qualify, and uh, to qualify you got to win one match in the qualifiers, or you know win in the qualifiers. And to be eligible for the qualifiers, you got to follow and subscribe and drop your gamer tag. So if any of y'all want to be involved, all you got to do is that. Let's go. Hopefully this works. We're trying something new so that the other two can watch. Why is... Oh boy. I, I'm trying something they suggested. I'm trying something they suggested. I don't know. A way for all of us to spectate or whatever. Yeah, I know, but they wanted to try it. At least this way they can kind of... I don't know. Do y'all want to exit and then just do it the other way? I'll re-invite you, Wyatt, okay? Yeah, we can set the... So, um... Sorry about that, you guys. You're going to have to wait just a minute. We were trying something, but it did not work. Oh, no, no. Fantastic. Anything that can go wrong and should go wrong is going wrong. Alright, well, shit. Let's see. Okay, so, um, according to Rainbow Six, you can spectator, you can broadcast through, uh, through, um, stream. Uh -huh. And then it should let us watch you somehow. I'm trying to, trying to work that out, RN. 
Uh, I just went for... Okay. Yay. I, if Jonas is gone for longer than five, I told everyone to be ready for this. Let's see. Well, it's probably out of, out of his control. Well, that's the thing. I guarantee you he didn't tell his dad about the tournament. That, that makes it in his control, because if he did, there's a chance his dad would have been like, okay, well, afterwards. When y'all don't tell and... someone that something's important... Then, you know, it kind of does kind of fall on y'all because then no one – that's like saying oh, I, I have to go to the store or whatever, but um, I, I'm not going to say anything because this person wants me to go here. But if they knew about it, then they'd be like, oh, okay, hold up, never mind. Go, go ahead and do your thing. Most likely in most cases, so – I don't know. And why it's probably going to join back in a minute. For those watching, please don't stop watching. We're waiting on Jonas. Um, if he's not here in three minutes, uh, we'll go ahead and go with Taco versus Wyatt. I do apologize for any inconvenience. This was completely out of my control. And I am sorry. I still got to do the Mandalorian review. Or edit it so I can upload it. Ah, crap. They're gonna stop watching because they're literally just looking at a screen with nothing going on. <laughs> if you want to, we can... Um, <clears throat> for those of you watching this, both streams, if you want to uh, participate, Pepsi, he's got some qualifications that you have to go through first. Would you mind lifting those? Uh, if y'all would like to go against Wyatt, one of the best, and have a chance to be in the tournament in January for $50 to qualify, there's three steps. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and uh, mainly follow on Twitch, and once you've done that, and let us know, drop your gamer tag, you can participate in a uh, best two out of three game against Wyatt and if you uh, if you win you qualify if you lose you'll still get two chances against other people but we're trying to see we're trying to go ahead and get Wyatt qualified because him and we already got Carlos qualified he's not going to be available the rest of this month and Wyatt's not going to be available the rest of this month and this month is the only month you can qualify so if any of y'all want to qualify please let us know whether you have a mic or not wait Wyatt's not going to be available for the Rest of the month? I don't think so, no. And besides, he you wanted sure? to do it this week. He wanted to do it this week, so. Ooh. I do have an idea. Alright. If we have, if we have Carlos spectate, he can broadcast to you and me, Pepsi, and we can watch through him because he's not streaming, and both of us can get still completely up to date, and we'll be able to watch perfectly. That. Sounds really complicated. Yeah. It's Jonas, sounds... are you back? No, he's not. Damn it. He's got... We're at 8 minutes. If he's not here, when it reaches 10, we're moving on. We'll find someone else. As this is ridiculous. I s For those watching, um, tune in tonight. We'll be doing Terraria, me and the other dude, Mr. M, Mr. Masturbation, Mr. Minecraft. Um, I've never played Terraria before, but he's played it. He loves it. He's an expert, so it'll be a first time for me. So, uh, yeah, tune in. Uh, 7 o'clock um, New Mexico time. I'm just going to start saying that <laughs> at New Mexico time because I don't know time zones. So look <laughs> up New Mexico time. And then compare it to your own. And then there you go. Every, everyone's phone has like a world clock on it. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you can set that shit. But whatever. Well, it must be nice to have a good phone. My phone's shit. <laughs> my I phone mean, my shit phone's too. literal. Like, I can barely use it for calls half the time. What phone you got? 
It is an AT&T piece of shit. Put it that way. <sighs> I've got the LG G7 Think. Bad My entire ass, family... Guess. No, it's shit. My entire family upgraded to... Alright guys, fuck it. Is Matt Hawk on? No, Matt Hawk's not on. Sorry about the blue screen. You guys were trying to find so someone else. Because I, I, I don't know about... Well, Alright, we're just ha gonna have Taco go against him. I'm gonna invite you, Taco. Alright. So there we go, that fixes it. Uh, Carlos, just watch the stream and we can commentate. I will go ahead and kick Jonas from the party. Uh, Jonas will have another shot at qualifying in the future. Like I said, everyone has the entire month, but uh, we're already losing viewers, and I know y'all are getting bored looking at a screen. If uh, any of y'all do return and watch this later, I do want to sincerely apologize to you on behalf of Jonas. He had to take care of something he did not know about, and um, he wasn't prepared to do the stream. So, Let me know once you've joined the thingamajig, um, Taco. Uh, yeah. Alright, Carlos, so me and thing. you will be commentating. And we got we, we got our viewers back, so that's good. Um, at the end of the mat, at the end of the game, yeah. I'll rejoin this party. Oh. Alrighty, guys, so Taco is going on his second try to qualify. And uh, joining me will be the very first person who's qualified for this tournament. And that will be Carlos. Everyone's favorite little Mexican. Yeah. So, Carlos, are you already watching the thingamabob? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do it. This, uh, it'll be uh, Taco versus Wyatt, one of the best, uh, like I already said. Once again, for any of y'all joining, uh, the rules are everyone goes recruit throughout the entire qualification tournament, and there's no spawn peaking. Spawn peaking might carry over to the main tournament, and there might be changes. However, during the main tournament, everyone can go whatever operator they want, with a few uh, changes. So, Here we go, round one. Let's go. Or game one, I should say. The best versus the memer. That's what I'm calling this because he was memeing all over Carlos, but Carlos was playing at his best. So take nothing away from Carlos in the last game. So Carlos, who do you think is going to take it here? Do you think the memer is going to come out of nowhere and win the whole thing, or do you think it's going to be Wyatt the Byatt? I'm, I'm going for Wyatt. you going for Wyatt? Yeah, Wyatt is like the second best. Yeah. Second only to Owen. Or Whistle. Especially since this guy memes what's going on with the internet. I like memes too. Yeah, Owen's I like me. Owen's really good. He's never been on our Twitch thing before. It's gonna be interesting. I still need to get him to uh, follow us. He's subscribed, but he's not followed. Cause he's a loser, <laughs> biggest loser of all time. All right, guys. So, Taco is starting us out with the big boom bot and then we got big piggy daddy aka Wyatt from the buy it getting ready the memer versus the best. What if the memer qualified and then he won the whole tournament and then it came down to him and Owen? How legit would that be? <laughs> the memer, the memer versus the very best. 
And it looks like Taco is definitely taking this on and being quite more serious about this game. And it's only the first game of possibly two or three, so... Taco being very careful, not wanting to take any chances. You think it'll be Memer versus I Carlos in the final? That would be kind of a Cinderella story. Kind of like Carlos qualifies and beats him in the very first qualifier. And then the Memer finds his way through the whole tournament. And then it comes down to him and Carlos again. And then the Memer wins. Carlos would cry. There would be no beans. There would be there no would beans. There would be no beans that night. <laughs> Yo, Pepsi, did you get yourself online? Yeah, I'm online. Okay. Just for anyone that carried over from the first stream, hopefully you're enjoying this, and hopefully you're ready for that tournament coming in January, and... I just want to thank you for pick it, taking time out of your day to join us for two streams back to back. Oh man, dude. So, both of them are pretty down on health, but I do believe it is Taco with the less health. Oh! And there we go, it's over. It's right there. Piggy Daddy waited and then the lights out. Done. But now, will the. St yeah. Do you think it's going to change a little bit now that. Now that um, Taco is going to be defending and why it's going to be attacking? Do you think we're going to see a change here at all, Carlos? Mm, maybe. <clears throat> why it's got a lot of skill. Yes, he oh, does. Let's see. let's see. Let's just show everyone the level. Taco is 83. That is his rank, and that is his ratio for wins and losses. This is Wyatt's. So, this is going to be very interesting. Five seconds left. 0 0.5, 0 0.3. Out to locate a bomb and then the 0 0.9, 0 0.9. Attackers have located a bomb. Bomb located by attackers. We're watching Wyatt from the Byatt returning after quite a while. It was originally on our YouTube channel. And he takes Taco out again. Whoa. Let's see if he can get a flawless victory or if it, Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be flawless here. We've already seen him on attack. He could definitely take it to him. If uh, for anyone, Wyatt has yet to be on Twitch. He's been on our YouTube. Check out Far Cry videos. Um, he was an official dude for a while, but due to uh, some personal reasons, he left us. But he will always be, in one way or another, a part of the channel and uh, part of the cast. He just won't, uh, probably won't upload on there anymore, so. But whether he uploads or not, he always puts the best that he can into what he does, and he has been ready for this qualifier 
since October, since September when it was first mentioned, and I'm excited to see him get a flawless victory here if he can pull it off. What a great return back to YouTube, and just a great debut on Twitch this would be for him, don't you think, um, Carlos? To yeah. just come back and win the qualifier flawless on not just the first game, but the second game too, just straight lights out. I think it'd be, I think it'd be fantastic. Okay, so let's see where everyone's at. Anyone see Taco anyway? Oh, there he is. Taco is moving in, looking to recover, make a comeback. Looks like Taco might try to outsmart the smartest of Rainbow players, or at least one of the smartest yeah. for sure. He has a good draw and right yeah. arrived behind. Uh, and what an ass it would be to get <laughs> shot. <laughs> Why is he looking over here? What are you doing, Taco? <laughs> Taco just... Giving up on the drone, not having any luck. Might have had his luck run out right there after looking at that ass that was very... A whole lot of ass, if you know what I mean. A whole lot of ass. <laughs> a whole lot of ass. Big Chungus boy. And Big Piggy Daddy moving to just go straight after him. Oh no, it looks like he may just get him out of nowhere here. Taco waiting steady. Slow and steady may win the race. Who knows? If he could just... If he could do that... Ah... Uh, because Wyatt is on his drone. He could have got him right there if he could have just aimed that just right. But I don't I don't think that's how this story ends. Well, now they both know where they, each other are. Talk about the tactics and it's over. Oh, it's not over. Not yet. Never say die. Taco is not gonna die yet. And you can Whoa, freaking, you, you can cut the tension with a knife. And now we're getting down to the last few minutes. And it looks like, oh, Taco's going for it. Taco is going for it. Five seconds to go. Is Taco gonna do it? He ran into the fuser. We are still. Oh. Fantastic. Look at this. Just having his way. Letting him know no matter what you do, you cannot beat the second best. What is going to happen when him and Owen meet in the tournament? We are going to see fire versus fire. He is the best and he knows he's one of the best. Although I don't know why he's not, he's literally just waiting it out. I'm going to laugh if he loses because he doesn't do it. Redecorating the wall. What the hell, Wyatt? Come on. We still have like another game, boy. I think he might be trying to let Taco out of their chance. No, he's not. I know exactly what he's doing. He's waiting until the last minute ca to Captain America, that bitch. So not only does he kill his target, but he waits out the bomb like it's nothing, and he wins round three. So first game, absolutely flawless victory. And in the end there, it got tense. So first point, 
goes to Wyatt. But we still have one more game, which is one more chance. If Taco can win that next game, then we will go to a third and final matchup to see who can really pick it up and take it home and go to the official tournament. Yeah, it'd be very, it'd be very exciting to see the next match. And if he gets a flawless like... victory straight, like two matches in a row, I think we're looking at a possible candidate for the guy who's going to win the whole tournament, honestly. If he Wait, lost, I, I would have laughed too, because the for memer the... becomes the memed. For the first one, I got... Didn't I get... Did I get two flawless victories or only one? I think you only got one, but you can go back and watch it. Everyone can go back and watch any of our stuff on Twitch or watch the recap coming soon, probably tomorrow or the next day on YouTube. Check it out. Why is it waiting again? Is there like... Oh, yeah. Here we go. No time to rest. Why it hot off of a of a flawless victory is he gonna continue it just a reminder for any of y'all watching is only gonna be the qualifiers that are all on the same house every matchup will be house and it'll only be recruits unless we do bonus rounds like we did earlier where we'll just go ahead and have operators and it'll just be for fun but we will probably not be doing that with this match we don't want to give you too much of a teaser of what it's like to see you know, people go at it with operators. You got to see it with Carlos and the memer. That's enough. Hold on to that to the tournament because the tournament is going to be lit. And I guess Wyatt possibly seeing his reflection in the pictures, seeing that ugly face, not wanting any distractions, mm -hmm. wanting to just win the game and not worry about how he's probably going to die alone. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't, oh, I don't know. That is dark. <clears throat> well, never said I wasn't. Where's the other dude? Oh, he's on a... Oh, and it's Drone versus White, and White just taking it out with ease. Not liking the toys of his childhood, not being a big fan of big bally globes. Mm. Don't know what the hell he's doing here, but okay. And Taco moving to the roof, wanting to make a new game plan, trying to make a comeback because if he loses this qualifying match against Wyatt, he will have to wait until next week. Who will he face then? That'll be his last chance, and if he loses, he is done. Wyatt, keep an eye on those cameras. Not wanting to leave anything to chance. And Taco trying to make some diversions. Trying to trying to feel his way. Trying to make sure that, hey, go this way. I want you to die. This is homicide at its best. You won't see homicide any better than someone getting shot in the ass over and over again. And Taco out of nowhere getting the first round victory. Is this the comeback where the memer wins flawlessly? Ooh. I don't know. The tensions are rising. Do you think maybe Wyatt lost there because he was overconfident or because he was just being reckless? Or I definitely was think... he actually be was he trying too hard maybe? What do you think? I think it was it, it was it had to be both. I think he was being reckless. He was destroying everything just trying to 
fool around, and then he was a little bit overconfident. You have to and, he was doing that. Because uh, he he like, thinks he has that. this in the bag, but in the blink of an eye, you'll lose everything. Imagine if we didn't have... We had the first best, but not the second best rainbow player, dude. That would... That'd be depressing. We want to see them go at it, you know. Imagine if they went at it in the qualifier or, or, or in the tournament and at the very end of the tournament. That would be one of the, that'd be something. I apologize if y'all hear any barking in the back. That is my doggo. And once again... So let's see what's yeah. going on here. We got one there, and we got one going around the house. And it looks like he's already going towards the garage. Taco making his way. They're very on each other's toes here. Now why is not wasting his time? I, I think he's trying to take his time. He doesn't want to lose this by some fluke. And look, man, they're, they're coming up on each other right here. Yeah, he's in and out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Watch this kill, you guys. I honestly thought Taco was going to take it away, but get shot almost in the Whoa, nuts, yeah. it would seem, out of Wyatt, just nowhere. Why it was ready. That corner and then this taco comes doesn't even if taco like, would, would have been looking second. down you gotta wonder if taco would have been had his skites his sights down do you think he would have got that kill there honestly i mm. think he would have if he would have had think. his sights down i think there's a possibility he would have got the kill because why it got the kill because he held his sights and as soon as he saw that stomach he had so much room to fire there was no missing he took it he ran he got the win why had the angle and a shotgun? Oh, yeah. But we will never know. Who knows? Maybe we will find out in the tournament if these two face off again. But it'll be, it won't be recruit. It will be operators. It will be a completely different setup. Big piggy daddy wanting to hide in the corner. Molest himself or masturbate. Who knows? Whatever floats his throat. Taco looking at beautiful trees maybe he wants to get a little bit of a woody too who knows <laughs> oh maybe he's taking maybe he does have a plan here he wants to take out the cameras Let's see, is Wyatt still in the same spot, you guys? Um, yes, Wyatt is still right over there, just chilling. Not a care in the world. Moving a little bit. Okay, it looks like maybe he might be switching his position. You're eating pizza and playing. Congratulations. Both on opposite sides. One house, two opponents, one winner, one qualified chance. Wyatt back on the cams. I feel like that was almost his downfall the last round, but he he had it under control. He had his bearings, and that's what you got to do. If you're going to take the risk, you got to be able to say, hey, I'm going to take the risk, but if 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 I can't find him, I got to be ready for him to find me. You know what I mean? You can't just be like, oh, well, I'm going to look on the camera, yeah. and if he shoots me, he shoots me. No, you got to, you know, you got to be on point. Oh, and Taco getting the third round victory, making it two and one. And it looked like a little bit of potato sauce right there, if you look at this. You wish we could have saw, sauce. wish, we, yeah, but a little potato sauce. Not taco sauce, not steak sauce. That was potato sauce. So now we're at, 
So now if uh, Taco wins this right here, then we'll have to have another game. But if Wyatt picks it up here and then goes again and gets two wins in a row, Wyatt qualifies. And we'll already have the second best rainbow player on the planet, at least in my eyes, for our rainbow mm -hmm. tournament. Give y'all some drone gameplay. Attackers have located a bomb. What? Uh, Taco's just chilling. Bomb located by attackers. Ten seconds. Maybe he's eating a pizza. Yeah. Five seconds. <laughs> I love the, the, the. Is Taco gonna move at all? Attackers are heading out. He better not Taco. give this. It's not like Taco was taking, you know, he isn't going oh, yeah. try hard at all. Well, it, it is just the phase where you find the bombs. Yeah. Maybe he's yeah. just overconfident. He only has to win one more time. But now, Wyatt has to win twice. True. And are these for distractions or are these for actual breaching? Oh, possibly giving his location away right there. Oh, 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 oh! What's gonna happen here? Behind! Behind! Oh, where, did you see the way that happened? I knew he was behind him. I don't know if Taco... I don't know where his head was at there. I guess he thought yeah. maybe he slipped back outside, but he paid the price for that mistake. And how was go. he going to come back for that? Because now it is, it, it's match point. Whoever wins this mm. wins the whole game. So either Taco makes a complete comeback here, and then there's a third game, or Wyatt just takes it and grabs Destiny by the balls and says, I'm going to go to that tournament and win that $50. Yeah. For a beginning, it seemed like Wyatt had it in the bag, and now it's kind of like, you know, Wyatt's kind of going a little bit reckless, he's a little overconfident, and Taco Muffin, he's just trying to bring back his game, he's trying, he's trying to do some good. So we'll see what happens in this final Diffuse, round. Diffuse time is like three years. Well, it's not really about diffusing, this is about who can kill the other, per se. This is about who can get that best shot. This isn't Fortnite. This isn't freaking... No, 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 no. This is who is the best. No telling who else is going to qualify this month to go into the game. So far we got you and either the next person is going to be Wyatt or it's going to be Taco. And it's already shaping up to be quite... Quite some competitors going into it. Let me ask you something, mm. I Carlos. Do you yeah. play Fortnite at all? No, not really. Not really. There's been a lot of Fortnite players that have moved over to Rainbow over the last six months. I believe Wyatt is a big fan of Rain of uh, Fortnite, but he's been playing it for a few years. And. Yeah. I don't know much about Taco, so we got someone who's a really good Fortnite player, but he's also really good at Rainbow. He isn't someone that came from Fortnite to Rainbow. He's someone that's always done both. No, I think he started with he started Rainbow first. But but, but do you think that Fortnite experience is going to help him here? Well, I don't know. As long as I know why, he's actually he's been pretty good at multiplayer games. Uh, the experience I mean, of being around some other wire. players, the experience, definitely the experience factor of being backed into a corner or being, you know, having the heat and having to play with a bunch of different type of players, you know, it's it's definitely got to be right in your face. And that that's probably going to come into a factor. Fortnite and this are very different. That's a battle royale. This is more tactical. And it's over. Wyatt qualifies for the Rainbow Six Peptastic Tournament in January. He has decided to move on and grab Destiny by the balls. The best now, versus the memer. Now we'll see if 
uh, Taco Muffkin can actually get qualified in his last match yes. that we'll have next week. His next match will be next week, so uh, I hope to see you all there. Um, I know this is kind of a short video. We're not going to have them go at it as different operators. I hope hopefully you all enjoyed this. If you did, uh, be sure to share it. Uh, follow if you already haven't. And uh, be sure to check us out on YouTube. Subscribe for our recaps and all that good stuff. And, um, you know, we'll see you next week, Saturday, Sunday, or Friday. Those are our days. Hopefully we see you tonight for Terraria. And uh, who is Taco going to face? Do you think he's going to win? Or do you think he's just going to meme and lose his chance at $50? What do you think, Icarlos? Mm, I I think there, there's a chance that whoever Taco's going after, if he's better than them by just a little bit, you know, he's a memer, but, you know, he does try. It looks like he has been trying. Well, like, guys, like half and half. does everyone want to know who Taco's going to be facing next week? Because I already have a confirmed confirmation. Who wants to know? Hold up, Wyatt. We're talking about who Austin is going to face next week. Or, not Austin, um, Taco. So, Carlos, you want to venture a guess, maybe? Um, I'm thinking. I think you might have. Mr. Fun like, Guy? Is it Austin? Maybe Mr. Fun Guy? Maybe. That'd be, that'd be cool. I don't know. Match. Mr. Fun Guy still wants to. Be sure to check out his channel. He does a lot of rainbow videos. I'm not going to give anyone the name, I'm going to give everyone the hint. And I know Carlos is going to know who it is right off the bat, so don't say anything. But I'm going to go ahead and tell everyone that y'all's hint is that the memer, all right, hold up, the memer will be facing the meme lover next oh. weekend. It's going to be interesting. Can the guy who's a memer beat the guy who can take all the memes and be like, okay, boomer, let's go? Or is the guy that loves memes just going to choke choke all of it down like a big, big round? I don't know where I was going with that, but we'll have to find out. The memer versus the meme lover next weekend. I hope you all enjoyed this. I can't wait to see you all next time. And remember, Pepsi then, Pepsi now, Pepsi forever. And most importantly, survive and endure. Destiny is all. And if you're not down with that, we only got two words for you, right, Carlos? Yeah. Fuck off. Fuck off. Have a peptastic day, you guys.